Welcome, aftermarket pros, to For the Record. Now, listen to a slice of wisdom, a concept, a sentiment, and maybe even a rant from one of your industry colleagues. For the Record. Hey, Carm Capriato here with For the Record podcast that always serves up some heavy advice to ponder. And it's my turn again. Hey, have you been looking for a way to increase revenue and average repair order? Well, how about improving your customer's satisfaction? That's a great idea. Now, what if I told you that there was a simple way to do both? FlexCheck Auto could be the solution you're looking for. This innovative digital vehicle inspection software is fully customizable and conforms to your needs. Now, FlexCheck Auto's transparent processes guides the technician step-by-step and ensures that when your customers receive their comprehensive vehicle report, they will know that it's a thorough upfront assessment of their vehicle's needs. That increased customer confidence leads to higher average repair order and happier, more satisfied customers. Hey, get started today. Get a free 30-day trial at flexcheckauto.com. Hey, I released a CarmCast right after I attended ASTE in September 2019. Now, there was a glitch in the broadcast with my voice. It was slow and somewhat garbled. It was almost sci-fi-like. So here it is right now as a For the Record podcast. Now, I had some important takeaways from ASTE that I wanted to share. Actually, this needs to be said over and over. Now, if you find your success pace and you continue to grow a successful business, this episode will remind you where you came from. It is also a call to arms to step up to help struggling shop owners. Okay, so struggling shop owners, please listen intently because you've probably got a job, not a career. You also probably are on credit hold with your suppliers and maybe even have cashed a few paychecks. Now, this episode is for you because there's help for you. Think about all the topics and powerful messages we've covered on the podcast catalog. They are there for you. Think about conferences like Vision, ASTE, ATE, and all the coaching companies that are there to help you. I know there's guidance and help, and you don't have to go it alone. Step up to get help, and to all shop owners who've turned the corner, step out and give some help. The entire Aftermarket benefits. Hey, Carm Capriato here for the record. Hey, I came back from ASTE, sponsored by the Independent Garage Owners of North Carolina. It was a great time, wonderful weekend. It's a, for sure, a brotherhood down there, and it is a growing show and a very important part of a training in the southeast section of our great country. Did a lot of recordings, met a lot of people, moderated a panel. But what I saw at ASTE is something that I, I, I want to share with you. And oh, by the way, I uh, attempted to do this on a CarmCast uh, uh, soon after I came back from the uh, ASTE conference. The audio was all goofed up. So I decided, let me put this out because I think it's important as a for the record. Now, I saw shop owners and technicians there because they want to improve themselves and their business. I've come to realize that there's an awful lot of apathy and attitude out there about getting training, um, taking it to the next level, don't worry, it's not going to affect me attitude, and it's really killing me. I, I, I just don't know what to do. I want to just go grab somebody and shake them. But I didn't see any of that kind of attitude and apathy at ASTE this weekend. Just engage shop owners and technicians, industry people looking to learn and improve themselves. And hats off to the IGONC and Bob Pulverini and Trisha Sauls for the effort and the work and the detail and the, the trainers that they lined up and they what they put into this. Here's what this is all about. I met shop owners at ASTE 2019 that were willing to stand up and say, I'm struggling and I'm potentially losing my shop. It took a lot, an awful lot of guts, you know, an awful lot of guts. They took a big step to learn and to network and to make the commitment to be there. And, you know, it's an amazing step when you ask for help. And it's also amazing what comes to you. I want to suggest that you need to be brave. Yes, be brave. You know, fear makes you stupid. Are you ready for that one more time? Fear makes you stupid. So take the first step. Most of the people who will listen to this and to this rant here today don't necessarily need this advice. So I'm speaking to you right now. Share this with others, someone who needs to hear this. It's going to help our industry. No doubt we are in a renaissance of uh, shop owners and technicians 
heeding the call, realizing that there's more out there, that they don't know everything, they don't know what they don't know. There's a lot going on to get to the next level, but there's just not enough of it. There's just too many naysayers, too many sitting in the back. And I almost think that we've got to grab them kicking and screaming and drag them over the line. So I need your help. Think about it. Where did you learn to be a great CEO or service advisor or top technician? It was most likely the school of hard knocks. However, many of you went to courses, read books, trained, learned, networked, and you put your intuition to play and started to make changes. You tried something. Now, maybe you hired a coach. One of your best moves ever. Wonderful. You learned benchmarking KPIs. You budgeted. You, you built processes and policies. You hired better. You built your culture. Congrats on all that you've done so far, your great accomplishments, high fives to you. You know, your path though, as you well know, this is not over. However, you can help colleagues who are struggling. So where are they, you may ask? Well, they're hidden. Now they don't want to be discovered, but you know who they are. Just look at their shop, you can tell. Knock on their door, or better yet, if you are a struggling shop, ask. Yes, ask. You'll easily, easily find help. Yes, it is highly personal to admit that you need help, but it can be cathartic and the best first step you can ever make. You'll find that the people who are willing to help have been down your same road. There's no instant success, instant leadership. It comes from smart, hard work. Too many of you haven't cashed your last few paychecks. You're on credit hold with your suppliers and you need guidance in a new start. You know, pride prevents people from asking for help. You're just too damn proud. But I know you need to accept your circumstance and ask for help. Please put pride on the shelf. So many times when we're behind the financial eight ball, we do things that continue to hurt our business, the marketplace, our people in the industry. We badmouth competitors as we race to the bottom just trying to get a job in the bay. I saw firsthand at ASTE people that put their hand up and said, I'm struggling and I need help. It was an awesome sight. And I met a few, and they are making the first steps to recovering their business. You know, as I said, it's hard work. So make the commitment to stick with it and to make the most important moves to find financial freedom. I can't help but think about the power of the podcast library. Over 650 episodes of all kinds of, you name the subject, you name the person we've interviewed. Many listeners have told me how the episodes have helped them and even transformed their commitment and their culture. When I'm out at events, I'm speaking, I bring the studio, we're doing live town halls. People come up to me thanking me for the information that we provide. And many of them put their hand up and says, listen, we were a struggling shop or we currently are a struggling shop and we discovered the podcast and now we're learning. We're building our own personal network like you discover. And when I meet them at a conference, I know that they've taken the next best step and that they've gone to training and they're actually building, you know, that personal network, not just a network that they're, say, for example, reading and listening to podcasts. And I, I still think you, you, you got to do it all. Listen, no matter what stage of the business that you are, struggling, getting going, just starting, or a you know, super successful 30-year veteran, you've got to be a student in perpetuity, always learning. And if not, pick up your tools, go get a job. Remember, some of the best and brightest leaders of our industry came from the darkest of places in troubled times. Now, I urge every successful colleague of mine right now to continue to pay it forward. Use this for the record as a foot in the door to break the ice with a colleague that is struggling. You know, there's a rule that I learned a long time ago. It's called the rule of holes. And it basically says you need to know when to stop digging. Can you imagine you keep digging a hole and further and further down, you can't even see the top. You can't even see daylight anymore. You're doing it to yourself. Stop digging. Get help. Raise your hand, says, I'm struggling. I know. And if and if people around you aren't going to just jump to your aid, no matter what, no matter if it's in a social site setting where you're, or you're conversing with people, just send me an email, karm at remarkableresults.biz. I've done this in the past. I've hooked up shop owners with struggling shop owners, and, you know, all of a sudden, bam, the lights get turned on. So appreciate it. Thanks for hanging. Hey, Carm Capriato here for the record. As we talked about struggling shops, and remember, fear makes you stupid. 